Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Pal. Let's talk about composition of matrix functions. That means doing one function and then another one. Oftentimes we call this matrix multiplication. But really, maybe we should think of it as function composition, putting one, doing one function and the other. So what we'd like to do is represent the result of this composition as a matrix. Let's think about how that should be done. Well, first of all, um, what's the domain of this first function here? Because we, we read composition from right to left. This is like an F of G right here. So we first do G, then F. So we think, um, so G goes to something. What is, what is the domain of G? The domain of G is R2, since there's two columns. And the codomain of G is R3. And that's good because the domain of F is R3 because it's three columns. So what is F going to do? So F is going to go from R3 and it's going to land in R2, it looks like. So our composition goes from R2 to R2. So our result should have two columns because its domain is two and two rows since its codomain is, is, is R2. So it should look something like this. Hmm. Now, this composition is also a map and we think this, what goes right here is the image of E1. What goes right here is the image of E2. So where does E1 go? All right, through all of this. Let's just run E1 through it and see where it goes. All right, so if we so if we start, we take E1 and we put it into G, what, what, it, out, what it outputs is actually this column, 1, 4, 0. All right, so, it out, so E1 outputs this column from, from G, and then so we, but then we stick that into F and see where it goes. When we stick into F, what that means is simply we say 1 times this column plus 4 times this column. So it just ends up being 1, 1 plus... 0, 8, which is just um, 1, 9. So E1 eventually goes to 1, 9. All right. So where now, where does E2 go? Well, so if we put E2 now into, um, into this first function, it outputs 1, 2, 1. Then we put 1, 2, 1 into this function, see what happens. So it's simply one times this column, plus two times that column, plus one times that column. So basically it means you add these two guys together and then you and then you add double the middle guy. So it's like one, one plus two, three, that would be what, three, four. So you have three, four, and you're adding it to double this guy. So, so, so basically it becomes um, three, eight. So we have three, eight like that. Um, and, um, and just double checking my work and I think we're, we're good here. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see. And yep, that's good. All right. So we got that matrix. All right. So let's look at the next one and see. So this is matrix multiplication, or you could think of it as composition of functions, but you see how we did it. We just thought, okay, this is thought of these things as being exactly what they are. This is the image of E1. This is the image of E2. Let's look at the next one. Okay, so what is the domain we're starting from? Hmm, well, this is our first map right here. So we can think of this as F, think of this as G. So in this particular case, it looks like we're starting from how many columns are there? There's three, so we're starting from our three. And then we're ending up in our two. Okay, that's where we end over here. And notice that the that um, the codomain of G is our is R, and the code and the domain of F is R. So that's exactly that's good because these two guys match up. Um, so we can have a composition. We need the middle guys to match up, just like we had up here. Okay, so. So the function composition will be well defined. All right. So let's start off by seeing where what we need. We need a matrix that has three columns for the domain and two rows for the codomain. So it's going to look something like um, so three and two. Okay. 
Um, so E1, E2, and E3, and we think, where do each one of these go? Well, where does E1 go? Well, the first map right here sends E1 to simply the real number 2. Okay, then we put the real number 2 into F. What does F do with it? Well, simply here, um, this just means, so when we put it in here, this simply means just take 2 times this first column. So just double the column, so we get 2, 6. Hmm, not too bad. What does E2 do? Kind of thinking about that, E2 goes to 1, then 1, what does it do? It just says 1 times that. Because quite literally, remember what 1, 3 is. 1, 3 is the image of E1, and E1 is simply 1 in R. So kind of it's like 1 is being, so in this map, this funny map right here with 1, 3, it just sends 1, which is E1, but it's just one because it's one dimensional here. One is sent to one three. So you can think of where everything else is sent. So where does where's two sent? Two is sent to so two times one. The function's scalable, so the two actually comes out here and it's just two times one three. So um uh so that's why it is double. And here, this is just E1 itself being sent to just one three, and then zero is just sent to zero times that, so just zeros and we're done. So not too bad. Okay. Let's look at the next one right here. Um, so notice first, this guy right here has three columns. So that means a result needs to have three columns. And this last guy right here has two um, rows. So it's gonna be, again, it's actually going to be a two by three because it starts in R3 and it ends at R2, just like the last example. The matrices look quite a bit different. However, um, and that's only because the middle, the middle guy here is different here to here, but yet, um, what's the same is the beginning and the end. And so that would give a matrix of the same size. So where does E1 travel? Well, the first matrix, it travels here. And what does this do? This just simply says one time that first column plus zero times that column. So it's just one zero. We just pick out the one zero. We're done with that. All right, where is E2 sent? Well, it's sent here. And then this is just sent to double this plus that. So basically two plus two and a one, so a, so a four and a one. And then where is E3 sent? E3 is sent to this, and then what does this do? This actually just picks out the second column because it's zero times the first times one times the second there. So it's just two, one. Okay, so we have just successfully multiplied, done these three matrix multiplications or compositions. And with some practice, you can, actually get pretty quick at doing this. Thanks for watching.